So I, I have to ask this because a bunch of my YouTube fans are Wing Chun practitioners. And something I didn't know about you until, until I read your bio was that you actually have a background in Wing Chun as well as many different other Kung Fu forms. Um, in fact, uh, it says your, one of your first major um, wins was, was at the uh, Wing Chun Boxing International Competition. So there are so many people out there who practice this style of Wing Chun who are looking for a role model. So we have MMA fighters like Anderson Silva, we've seen him train with uh, Dan Inosanto. Um, Tony Ferguson does some Wing Chun techniques in the cage and everybody goes nuts over it. But nobody, nobody at least in the US, is talking about uh, Elong and Wing Chun. So I have to ask this, um, with this entire prolific career behind you, um, how, much, how much did your Wing Chun training actually come into play in your professional fights? Elong is um, uh, the young Wing Chun uh, champion in Foshan in, uh, back in 2008, and uh, lots of the footage were actually haven't, haven't been released yet. Oh, interesting. The, the two main advantages of Wing Chun, number one is um, the defense and offense are of, of one. And when you're attacking, you're defending yourself at the same time. Uh, the second, the second um, advantage is how Wing Chun uh, throw a punch. Um, so in traditional Western boxing, um, you have to, um, uh, you have to twist your 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 your, your wrist right. and rotate your wrist um, uh, to land the punch. Whereas in Wing Chun, you can land a ver more of a vertical with uh, your your punch with vertical knuckles and easier to get through defense. Right, which is actually the way Jack Dempsey taught it a hundred years ago in Western boxing, but. Times have changed a little bit somehow. So what, what's interesting about the Chinese martial arts is um, um, that actually lots of them have already included uh, many of the modern techniques. Um, the difference between that, uh, Chinese kung fu and uh, and the likes of uh, Muay Thai uh, karate is, is um, um, these Chinese uh, martial arts never got a chance to to really um, uh, they're having been put in in practice uh, for the last four decades. Uh, since 1949, um, if there had, had been a consistent form of a competition since then, maybe many of these techniques will be uh, simmered down uh, and, and, uh, and, and utilized in the modern competition. Yeah, back to Wing Chun. Uh, another thing is the, the inch inch punch or you know several inch punch because right. you don't have to uh, telegraph or pull back. Uh, you can punch from a very short distance. I get a lot of questions from traditional martial artists who practice traditional Chinese um, Kung Fu, traditional Chinese martial arts, and they want to make a transition to MMA, kickboxing, and other combat sports. What advice would you give them? So to, to those, those people, um, um, the biggest advice would, would, uh, would be um, to have respect and humility. Um, the, uh, traditional martial arts or any martial arts really um, and uh, the likes of modern Muay Thai Karate, uh, MMA, kickboxing are, are completely two, two, two different arenas. Um, the, the former is uh, more of, uh, well, the former does not have the, uh, the, the combative system of the second. Um, it doesn't have um, the, the, the real life sparring experience. So even if you can, you can be the master in one traditional martial art, doesn't mean you can um, translate those skills into a, 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 the modern combat sport uh, without the, the, the rigorous training, the, 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 the full resistance training, the sparring. Uh, so the biggest message will be uh, to be humble, um, to be respect, respectful, uh, to have the fear before you, you transform into a full combat sport.